What's up, ladies and gentlemen, everybody out there on YouTube land, it's Phil 20 today, and what we've got for you is called RAM Disk, and I'm going to show you where to get it, what it's for that I would use it for, and why I would want to use it. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're currently uh, in our web browser. We're going to go to search. We're going to type in RAM disk. AMD. Once you pull up uh, RAM disk AMD, you're going to go to Radeon RAM disk. Memory AMD. So That's going to load here. And it's going to show ready on RAM disk. This is a free software. You're going to go ahead and uh, click on Shop Now. Once you click on Shop Now, it's going to down. You're going to be able to download this. You're going to download it right here. Once you get started on the download, you're going to open the file. I've already completed this, so you're going to want to open the file. You're going to want to start the install. Click Next, Next. I agree, and then you know start the install. Since I've already installed it, it's not important for me to finish. You know finish another install and it should start up immediately so once it's started up uh, you're gonna see Radeon RAM disk AMD loading once it loads up you're gonna see this folder this file here it's a uh, pretty simple you're gonna want to set it up uh, in accordance with how much RAM you actually have. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how much RAM I've got. i got 16 gigs of random access memory with this here and it's apparent that I'm using most of it because in my other window screen I'm actually loaded with Movie Studio Platinum. Movie Studio Platinum is currently running for me right now. So it uses, I got it to where it uses quite a bit of RAM as well. So we're going to be using a majority of the, my RAM. Um, but I'm only using four gigs out of uh, the uh, RAM disk, and the RAM disk actually has the uh, files that I want to edit on the disk. Not all the files, but some of the files. So the additional files that I will be putting on there will be this video here, which you cannot see until after I get done with the video, and then once I'm done, I'll load it into this and then I'll start editing it'll improve the performance I'm hoping by a dramatic amount now being that said you can also use this RAM disk for more than just uh, you know editing video you can put your Google Chrome on here which I may do as well I, you know you can uh, have uh, Google Chrome installed onto this file it's just you will not be able to edit I mean, you will not be able to load Google Chrome until after it's completely loaded. But if you do install Google Chrome onto this, it's going to increase the performance by about 50 times its normal speed for loading, you know, the, the loading stuff. It's crazy Im Im impressive. So, you know, you can load a, you know, all the stuff is, you know, load is way faster. So if I wanted to install Google Chrome, I'd just, uh, you know, program files. So, you know, I got program files right here. That, and these files will save to the drive as a image on the C drive. Once it's saved on as an image on the C drive, you know, every time you turn it on, every time you turn it off. So I'm going to actually install Google Chrome here as well. That is just some of the things you can actually do with it. So I actually intend on uninstalling Google Chrome and installing it onto the RAM disk Z drive. And that way it'll increase the performance of my computer by a huge factor. And it just, it's just allowing me to access the data that's stored faster. That's, that's all it is. Thanks for watching. This is Phil 20 with Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics, and I'm going to holler at y'all later. lazy to get, gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content 
always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.